Hi, this is Laura Tate of Coffee and Tango, and this is a quick tutorial to show you how to submit events on the Coffee and Tango website for registered or non-registered users. So whether you're new or a returning user, click on Login at the bottom of the screen. If you're already registered, input your username and your password and click Login. If you haven't registered, click this Register button and you'll be prompted to input your username, a unique username, and a email, and click register. Click on the link in your email, and remember, copy and paste your password and your user ID, and then click login to access your uh, dashboard. If you're a returning visitor, this is where you'll be taking. If you're a new user, you'll be taken directly to your profile page, where you're going to change your password, as well as be able to input all your other information and this is where you change your password. After you filled out your information and clicked update, go to your dashboard. And um, here, you're at a glance, you can see all the posts, comments, and other activity that have taken place on this site, and some of it um, is from other users. Now, to add an event, there's two options from within a dashboard. At the top here, you'll see this little plus sign with the word new, you can put new event or recurring event, as well if you are an authorized author, you can um, add a post, whether it's a Tango Review or Tango News or something like that. As well to the left, you can choose from this uh, menu and a drop-down menu will appear, add event, recurring events. But what we're going to choose is add an event. And right here is the main um, drafting area to create your event. You enter a title. Now we chose just add an event, not recurring events. So this is a one-time uh, event. And you put all your information. Put in all the information about, excuse me. All the information about your event should go here, the description, any bios, the performers, whatever it is that you want to tell readers about your event. And then click Save Draft. Save your draft every five minutes because if you don't, you could lose your work. I once lost my work after two hours of writing. Ignore the errors here because you haven't put a date and time in as well as a location yet, so this will show up until you do that. After you put all your um, text in, you can add media by clicking on the Add Media button you will be able to have access as an author to the entire library of Coffee and Tango. And if any of the photos suit to your event, you can choose from here and insert it. If they don't, you'll have to upload your own um, photo by clicking Upload, select File, and then select an image from your computer. I've already uploaded images, so I'm going to choose from the media library. Whichever way you do, once you have the photo uploaded or once you choose a photo, choose a size. If you want to show up full size, choose that and then click Insert Post. You can center the photo or align it left or right by clicking on the photo and choosing one of these options. As well, for advanced editing, you can choose this, as long as you update all your information. Here, you're going to input event tags, such as Milonga, Tango, Performance. Separate everything by commas, Nito and Elba, if they're performer names anything relevant to the description of your event. What this does, it helps users search for uh, information on the website. And for instance, if they're looking for a Tango performance and you have it tagged, you can click on this. So after you've entered your tags, go to Event Categories. And if it's a Milonga, choose Milonga. If there are classes and workshops, choose whatever categories are appropriate for your event. Remember to click Save draft every five minutes. Next, I'm going to show you how to add a featured image. The featured image allows um, your image to show up in the list of events with a little thumbnail. It helps it stand out more. So actually, you don't even need to put this image in here at all because the featured image shows up prominently on your listing as well. So you click featured image, and just the same as you did with the inserting it into the post, you can choose it from here or you can upload and click Set. Now we're going to add location. If a location has already been created, for instance, let's say this event is taking place at Volcano, and I start typing the name of the event, the address is already there. 
and I don't need to do anything else. Um, if you don't see your location in the drop down menu, then you've got to build this all out. Um, you can click this to reset the form to create a location or search again for a, another event. For instance, let's say it was at a dance academy. Um, there's Passionate Spirit Dance Academy. There's all these ones that have already been created. If it was here, I would click on this and it would be populated. I'll just choose this for now. Okay, let's say the event is taking place there. And there you have it. You have a single event with a title, with your text. Oh, I didn't show you how to do the day and time. Sorry. Say our event's taking place on a Saturday, and it's one night. If it ends the next day, like, say, 1 o'clock in the morning, make sure you um, choose the correct date. And you can choose its starting and ending times from the drop-down menu. I'm just clicking wildly here just to... Okay, now I've got the date and time, the location, category, featured image, event tags, and click Save Draft. Before you hit Publish, please preview your events to make sure there are no mistakes. A new window will open up and look over your event carefully. This is how it will look when it's published. You've got the title, location, classes, milonga, the featured photo, and all the other pertinent information. And when you're sure that everything is um, all right, you click Publish, which I won't do since I don't want to add the fake event to my calendar. To add a recurring event, either from this menu on the left or from the top, choose Recurring Event. And you're going to do all the same things as you did. You're going to put in a title, a description. It'll look a little different, the format, your event tags and all that. But what's different, different is that you're going to put a recurring, whether it's a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly, and you're going to choose from what date to what date. If it's a weekly milonga, a tip here is, say if you have a weekly milonga on Fridays and it starts July 24th, if you're fairly secure that your milonga is going to last a long time, choose a span of a year. So that way you don't have to worry about updating it. Um, you can update individual recurring events uh, later. Um, Choose a time. After you choose your times, make sure you put in here, if you chose a year, put in 365 days. You have to have some sort of span of a day so that way it'll show up. And again, you put your location information. And when you're sure all is good, press publish. Um, I'm going to show you how to edit reoccurring events. If you're in your dashboard, go to events. These haven't been published yet. So I'm going to go to Published, and I'll find a draft or a, an event that I published with this account. Again, when you go to Events, a list of all the events that have been published on the site will show up, but you won't be able to edit them, only edit your own events. And my internet is a little slow. Okay, so when you click on Events, here's all the list of events, and you can click on View. As you see, I don't own these, but if I did create these, I would be able to edit them as well. There would be a little edit button. The, um, another way to add events, um, if you're a registered user and after you're logged in, which is, might be a little simpler, here you, here you are in your dashboard. Go up to Coffee and Tango and you'll see this visit site. Or you can just type in your browser bar Coffee and Tango. But make sure that you're registered. I mean, you're logged in. If you're logged in, you'll see this and you'll see your user ID over here. So here's a home page. What you do is click on Submit an Event. And this is what non-registered users will click as well. But if you're logged in, here you're going to see all the uh, events that you may have published or have drafts of. So if I click on Drafts, I have four events that I created, but they have not been published. And I can work on them from here by just clicking on the title of the event. And then I see all the information including dates, times, addresses, and I change whatever I want, add whatever information. I've already uploaded the uh, information, and I can click Update. Once you click Update, and it's something updated, and it'll be published, republished pending approval. Um, for some users, you have automatic approval, approval, and you don't need my approval. For others, there's a, um, I'll get notified, and then if I approve it, I'll... Um, Click Approve. I approve everything. It's just uh, protection against spammers. Now, if you didn't want to, um, oh, because I approved that, actually, this one's for automatic approval. You'll see here, 
under tango events. This is a recurring event that I created that I didn't publish. Malanga Stargazer, I published it as a weekly event and it will show up under each week. So here it is again. So let's go back to where we were as a registered user who's logged in. All your upcoming events that you've published, all your drafts, everything will be here. It's really uh, it's a much easier way to uh, manage your events. If I wanted to delete this event, on the right, I would click Delete. Or if I wanted to edit all the events, click Edit Recurring Events. If I just wanted to delete one uh, occurrence of this event, I would click this button. But I want to delete all right now. I click OK, and this will delete um, all future events of this um, weekly milonga I created. So it's been deleted. As you'll see, there's no more upcoming events. To add a new one, click on the Add New button. And here you put your all your information like you did in the dashboard. You put the name, choose from the drop-down menu of the um, event, choose reoccurring times, if it's uh, reoccurring, how often, what um, weekly, daily, monthly, as well as location. And pretty much it's all the same. Input your text information, add media if you want. You can upload from your desktop. Add all your information. A um, uh, tip about this from the categories, if you want to add more than one category, press the command key, or if you're using a Mac, it's called the, um, uh, what is it called? Apple. Apple or Command. So you hold down your Command key, and then you can collect, um, select uh, several categories to go to your event. And here you can choose File to upload from here if you want from your desktop. This is what will show up under Featured Image. And then you click Submit Event. If you're not registered, which means you can't log in, you can still submit an event. You just click on this button right here. And you put on all your details. You have to put your name and email and all the other information. And you've seen the tutorial, so you know how to put all the information here. You put your uh, text and you can bold it. Um, again, to multi-select, hold down your command key, upload file, and then you submit. And I won't submit it right now because you know what happens. This, for subscribers, um, the events will be published after my approval. The disadvantage of submitting an event this way is that you cannot edit it or delete it. You will have to send me an email. So it's best to register as a user, um, be authorized as an author, and then you can create and submit events as much as you want, as well as post to Coffee and Tango. And I encourage all of you who are approved as authors to write posts. Um, you can write stories about performers coming to town. You can write about special events, other special events. Maybe you want to write bios uh, on local uh, performers or teachers. Uh, it'd be a good idea to discuss it with me first to make sure it can be published. Email me at laura at coffeeandtango.com. Thanks for your time.